And what's going on? So, I got some stuff in the mail today. And this is for the 32 bit monster project that we're working on. Um, I want it to go with water cooling. So, we're going to water cool the GPU and the CPU. And if I can come up with some extra money, or maybe I can get somebody to help me out, like a sponsor or something, I could possibly get um, the RAM cooled. But that's like an extra $100 to cool the, the RAM. But uh, I wanted to talk about this. This is a GTX 580, and I believe it's a 3 gig card. It's DirectX 11. Um, it takes a... Um, an 8 and a 4 I'm sorry an 8 and a 6 port for power uh, it does have an SLI bridge on it right here okay and then it's wearing a for the win Swift Tech water block and it's you know it goes both ways that way I can port it either way which way I want it to do it but I really I was really impressed with how heavy this card is and then if you flip it over on the back it has a back plate on it now the back plate is like a a carbon fiber it's like a like an uh, a mixture of carbon fiber and like a plasticky it's 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 a weird material um, what this is but yeah the um, the ins the the seller included the uh, the fittings and then he gave me um, two half inch uh, bar nipples to go with it but one of the things that I noticed about the graphics card was that there was like a, uh, a chalk like residue inside of the ports and stuff and I noticed that this card is of course used but they were water cooling it and they were using some type of dye in their loop or their system and once they remove this from the loop and drain the water out of it that dye that they use for their loop um, becomes like a type of chalk like residue substance and it coats the entire inside of the block uh, so what I did is I used alcohol and poured it inside of the block and that way and that way the alcohol would try to clean up whatever gunk was inside and I let it sit for like eight hours and then came back to it and poured it out and the stuff that came out was like this weird yellow -y looking substance and I can look inside and see that there's just all kinds of contaminants and stuff floating around in this thing so I'm probably going to have to wash this block out a few times now when I when it arrived the bracket right here as you can see is bent it, do, it arrived bent so I'm gonna have to fix the bracket and then on top of that screws are falling out of the back plate so I am going to have to take this apart disassemble it and reassemble it and make sure that the pads are correct and that you know everything is okay so yeah that's what we're going to do today we're going to take this thing apart and check it out and see where it goes also this also came in the mail guys this is also for the 32-bit monster project it is uh, well can you see it it's four sticks which I only needed three sticks but it was such a deal to get four like it was actually more money to get three sticks versus to get four sticks so I went ahead and got um, four sticks of DDR2 800 megahertz RAM and we got some RGB uh, RGB uh, heat sinks to go over this so those will look real cool too and of course the motherboard that we're using so I'm not exactly sure 
how this will look in it. But yeah, all right, guys, let's let's check it out and see what we got. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished putting our thermal paste back onto the CPU or onto the die or whatever you want to call it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the block and set it back on top very gently. But first, I want to clean this out. Okay, so I poured alcohol down inside, down inside of the block, and it's going to kind of circulate through there. And while it's while it's doing that, give this thing a a wipe. There we go, like that. Anyway, you can uh, you can let the alcohol sit for as long as you like. Uh, the longer that the alcohol sits in the block, the better it is. But I would only do it for maybe a day or two and then change it out. You know, you can soak it for two or three days, but don't leave but don't leave the same alcohol in there for you know two or three days. If you're going to do it, change it out several times. So that way you get fresh alcohol into it and get all the crap out. And that way it's just not all sitting in there for six or seven hours or however long you decide to do it for. So keep that in mind. But I'm, uh, I'm just going to put my fingers over the two block. And I'm just going to kind of shake it. And I can, I can hear it um, sloshing around in there pretty good. And... We just kind of wanted to get it everywhere. All right, so once that's done, I'm gonna pour it inside of this water bottle and see if we get any Uh, there's all kinds of contaminants in it. Can y'all see all the stuff floating around in there? Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Okay, so after that's done, after we have washed the block out a few times and you've polished and cleaned the other side of the GPU, you want to go ahead and put them back together. So that's what we'll go ahead and do now. Uh, First thing you want to do is plug in your your power. set it down like that and then we need the the spacer which is this part and it fits right up inside like that 
So we're just going to go ahead and feed it in there. Or wait a minute. My bad, it goes that way. Alright. Okay, so once I got that like that, I'm going to go ahead and flip the block over. So let's go ahead and secure Now that we got it back together we have flushed out the block. We have cleaned the PCB with alcohol front and back. We have cleaned the other side of the block and polished it. And now we have reassembled the GPU back together. All there is to do now is put it on a test bed and test it and see what happens. And hopefully with our you know procedure that we just went through we we help expand the life because like I said there was no you know there was no um, CPU because like I said there was no uh, thermal paste on this when we when we cracked it open and you know you need thermal paste that's that's very important so yeah guys this is the GeForce GTX 580 and we're going to strap it into the system here and see what it can do but that's for another day so stay tuned for that as we continue with the 32-bit monster vlog now since we're getting closer and closer with the parts I just thought I would go ahead and show you guys the GTX 580 and prepare it for its voyage so yeah peace thanks for watching